hello everyone this is me sharon welcome back to my channel for today's video i will show you how to crochet a phone pouch and i attach a strap on this one using a romanian cord the size of this phone pouch is about seven by three inches make sure to watch until the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe So I will show you how to make the piece and this is the shorter one and this is the size of a phone which has nine rows and after working the first row we're going to work in rounds. This will be the right side and then I will use into fill for ply yarn in peach and rusty brown. I will also use 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So first we're going to make a magic ring and then we're going to work three chains or chain three which will count as one double crochet and then two double crochet and then after working two double crochet we're going to work a chain space we're going to chain two and then work three more double crochets into the ring so this will be the start of the first row and we're going to make eight more but since I have made the other piece that is shorter, this would be in 15 rows. So same lang naman ang process with the first one that is shorter. You just have to adjust the number of rows for the next piece that you'll be making. So if you're going to make the shorter piece first, you need to finish up to row 9. In my case, I will finish up to row 15 because I will need this longer piece to attach to the, to the shorter one. So if this is your first time to make the first piece, then I suggest you can make the shorter one first before the longer one. So we're now on the second row. So we're going to work one double crochet into the third double crochet which is the chain three after that we're gonna chain two and then turn and then we're gonna do a cluster of three double crochet chain two and then three double crochet so we're we'll just repeat this until we reach the number of rows that we need so in my case i will be finishing up to the 15th row if you are going to use a different kind of yarn, it has to be lightweight that is compatible with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. If you're going to make a project with a thicker yarn, then your project will be much bigger than mine. So you have to check the yarn weights first before making this project. In the next clip, I will show you up to row 15. So this is what it looks like now. Once done, I'm going to chain one and cut off the yarn. We'll now switch to the second color and we are going to do the first round for this one. So we will work in a round with clusters of three double crochets. So we're gonna start with the corner. So this would be my corner. And we're going to start with working one standing double crochet. And we'll make an increase. So we're going to work three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet. This is the first corner that we're making. And we should have a total of four in order to create a rectangular shape. So once we are done with this, into the next chain two space, skipping the three double crochets in there, we're gonna work just three double crochets. So remember, there is no chain in between the clusters of three double crochet. So this would be the side of our rectangle and then once we get to the other side or the opposite side we're going to make an increase again so we're going to work three double crochet chain two and three double crochet so this would be the second corner of our rectangular shape project so we're going to chain one 
and then three double crochet all into that same space once we're done with this into each of the chain spaces we will just work three double crochet and remember do not chain one in between so remember we are making a rectangular base for our project and once you understand how the stitches worked on this first round it will be easier to do the next two rounds because we will just be repeating this but at the same time you will see how this rectangular piece grows so on the other end we'll do the same thing we'll add two more increases to create that rectangular shape so the chain one space there is our corner space and we should have four so for every corner space or chain one space we're gonna do an increase or we're going to work three double crochet chain one and three double crochet once we do this on the other end that's when we grow our rectangular base so once we get to the corner now the space there we're gonna work three double crochet chain one and three double crochet and then into the magic ring we're just going to work three double crochet and then once we get to the opposite side we're gonna do the same we're gonna work the increase or three double crochet chain one and three double crochet So into each of those chain spaces, we'll just work three double crochet into each. And in the next clip, I will show you how to end the round. Once you get back around, we're going to work a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet made or the standing double crochet there that we made. So after slip stitching, we're going to chain one, cut off the yarn. You can weave in the end or I will do it as I work on with the next color. So I will do a standing double crochet into the chain one space which is the corner space I will make an increase again just like in the previous round which I made three double crochet chain one and then three double crochet now in between the three double crochets or the clusters of three double crochets I am gonna work three double crochet so there's no chain one space in there only a gap in between the two clusters of three double crochet so that is where we're gonna work the three double crochets with no chain one spaces we will only work a chain one space in between the increase or in between the two three double crochet so in here the second corner space we're gonna work three double crochet chain one and then three double crochet and then after that we're just going to work three double crochet 
in between the clusters of three double crochets until we get to the second corner space. This piece that I'm working with is longer than the other one and this would fit the phone and includes the flap. And the size of the other one is about 3 by 7 inches. So the height is about 7 inches and the width is 3 inches. Finally, when we get to the third corner space, we're going to work the increase or 3 double crochet chain 1 and 3 double crochet. This is how the rectangular base grows. So as long as we add the increase into each of the four corners, then we will make it bigger. And if you don't plan to make a phone pouch, you can just make one piece and keep it growing until you get to the size that you want if you're going to make a throw or a blanket. I'm not going to show you the third round because it's just the same as how we do the second round. Just make sure that you work an increase into each of those corners with three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet into each of those four corners. And then once we're done, we're just going to put the two pieces together. This is very easy. And once we're done, I'm going to show you what it looks like. As usual, we end the round with a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet chain one and then we fasten off and then I will show you the next piece which is the shorter one so with the shorter one I only did nine rounds and into each of the gap that is where we work the uh, clusters of three double crochets as you can see I showed you to grow this rectangular piece we will just work an increase or Three double crochet chain one and three double crochet into each of those four corners so that's how we make it bigger and then once done I am just going to leave in the ends and then show you later how it's done so this one has 15 rows which is the longer one and the other one only nine which is the size of the phone and then we will place them on top of each other just to make sure to weave in the ends first so it doesn't get in the way once you're done we're now going to work uh, single crochets around so in here make sure the wrong sides are facing each other so I base the right side uh, with the last round that I made so in here I did the last round on this side so this is the right side for me so make sure that all stitches are lining up and we're gonna join them by working a single crochet on both stitches so I started right on this side so it's up to you where you want to work the stitches for as long as the edges are aligned and then I will just keep on working one single crochet into both of the stitches of the two pieces. And then once I get to the corner, which is the chain one space of both pieces, then I will work two single crochets in there. We have four corners. So into each of the chain one spaces, we're just going to work two single crochets and then we keep on working one single crochet into both stitches to join the two pieces together So this is what it looks like in the corner of the shorter one. We did one single crochet and then continue working one single crochet into each of those stitches except for the corner spaces in which we did 
two single crochets. This will make the flap for our phone pouch. And then once we get back, we are going to work a stitch to join the two pieces together. So make sure that all stitches are lined up so it won't be lopsided. So in here, I only have one or two stitches left to join. So once I did my final single crochet, we're going to finish off and I'm going to cut off the yarn and I'm not going to do a slip stitch. I'm going to do an invisible join. So the last stitch will not be noticeable. As you can see, this is where we fold our flap and it might take a few tries for the rows before you get, but for those who are going to use the same yarn, you won't have to do that because you just need the hook that I have used in order to get the same size as mine. So this is how I do an invisible join. After I weaved in all ends, I will add a handmade button because I plan to attach a magnetic button in there. So I noticed after attaching the magnetic buttons, it's, it was showing up on the front. So I have to add the uh, handmade wooden button on top. And then we will add a strap. This one is called a Romanian cord. So to start, we're going to make a slip knot. And then chain two. After chaining two, insert into the first chain made under the two loops. Yarn over, then pull up a loop. Yarn over, then pull through all loops. Turn, then insert under the loop. Yarn over, then pull through one loop. Yarn over, then pull through two loops. Turn, then insert under the twisted loop in there. Make sure to go under the two twisted loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And we're going to repeat this until we get to our desired length. So the length of this strap is about 32 inches in length. I did the fold about an inch and I sewed it. And the size is about 7 by 4 inches. I used a pair of swivel hooks that are bronze as well to make it uniform with the magnetic buttons that I attached. And this is what it looks like after we're done. So if you're going to use the same kind of yarn, you will end up with the same size. You just need to adjust if you're going to use the different kind of yarn. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and goodbye.